Mm, so anyway, you guys, I just did something I've been trying to do for 15 years, and uh, maybe even 20, and just kind of like got around to it. it. It involves that thing right there, and uh, something Dave Shatswell said years ago, which is something about a you know little two strokes, just like an air compressor. And I've heard people talk about you know making them out of four you know Briggs engine blocks. Couldn't really figure out how to deal with the timing on the valves, and if I was going to have to weld up the camshaft or what that would do. So. Anyway, I brought home this thing here because, personally, I want to see every one of them die and not have to fix them anymore. And uh, I had found something when I was looking around uh, for a part for that thing. And uh, I realized that this whole time I've been looking for air chuck valves, but they're not a part of, like, the line or anything. So you don't buy them as an accessory. They're a part for the machine that goes between the pump head... And the tank, of course. I mean, that makes sense, right? So anyway, I tore this thing apart, and I cut apart a hydrogen peroxide bottle. And I put a gasket back here to block it off. So this whole muffler is really just a way to hold that little piece of plastic in. And I gutted the throttle flap and the choke off of this so air could flow through freely. And just left all this whole mess as a way to have an air filter on the thing. And of course, this is some kind of pipe thread. Sorry, this is some kind of pipe thread, and of course that's like 14 millimeter spark plug thread. So I figured out that if you wedge it in in about three turns, it actually starts to lock up on itself. And of course that's perfect, right? That's that's exactly what you want. So I slathered a bunch of blue Loctite on, really just to seal it. Nothing, no real expectation that it'll hold under load. And um, it works when you turn this thing in either direction. Air goes out of there and goes poof, poof, poof. And after having done it all, I realized, you know, that I had completely made a major mistake because I had only ordered two of those things because this is supposed to be a four cycle project and I need it in and out and in and out and in and out. So I guess I'm going to have to build order two more and then use the other one of these for something totally ridiculous like this all over again. So the plan is to unthread the clutch and just use bolts coming up through these holes here from the back side into like a fan out of like a window box fan or something. So when the wind goes over it, it pumps the thing and it goes out there. And we'll see how long this little engine block lasts without any lubricant in it because it is a two-stroke without anything inside of it. So see you later.